Hi everybody from a beautiful day. I am back in Skyrim. I've got my College of Winterhold t-shirt on and ready to give you my top five favourite mods of all time. Nothing to do with textures or climate or any of those other wonderful mods, weapons, armour, blah blah blah. These are all quests and adventures and one special mod. So let's get into it. All right, so the first mod that I've chosen is Clockwork by Antistar from 2016. Gosh, that was such a long time ago. This is an amazing mod, if you don't mind a little bit of abject terror. Personally, I found it a thrilling adventure. I really enjoyed the questline enormously. Imagine a little bit of Victorian Gothic wrapped up in a nice crunchy dwarven shell it is fabulous uh, the, the quest is great fun the home itself absolutely stunning beyond beautiful and when you have the home there's even more quests to do when you get here so it's not like just you know one thing um, it, it sort of encourages you to explore there's a whole lot more to this mod than is shown here in this video so do by all means uh, check out the long form uh, video that I did for this or just download it and go in there without knowing anything about it which is what I did the first time and uh, yeah it's super exciting so I hope you enjoy it this one's number five and then moving on to number four Okay, so now we are at Worm's Tooth. This one and number five actually are kind of interchangeable in my head. I love them both equally. Look at the size of this land though. It's beyond bonkers. It's so big. There are so many quests. There's the main quest line that you can follow, but there's also a ton of other things that you can do, which you can pick up when you're just out and about exploring. I found a, a quest which ended up giving me um, a little wolf companion, which I had to shrink because he was like the size of dog meat from Fallout 4. So he was a real pain in the A to have him following around with you. But if you shrink him down a bit, he's uh, he was great fun. I really love that little pet. And for that reason, I would definitely install this one again. It's by Jonxor, by the way. I probably just mis mangled that name. Uh, J-O-N-X-O-R. And um, I don't know how old it is. I... I was looking for it for a long time and couldn't get it. It wasn't on the Nexus. I couldn't find it anywhere. I ended up downloading it from some random place. I can't remember what it was now, uh, but it is now on the Nexus. Oh, there, there's my little pal. So, uh, yeah, you also get a lovely home with this one as well, by the way. It's um, uh, an old abandoned imperial fort that you can get and the whole thing, the whole quest was so much fun with so much to do it really does enhance your game i think these mods I, I just honestly these particular five have been life-changing for me all right then moving on to number three all right here we are at number three this is bruma beyond skyrim bruma and oh my goodness it's by the beyond skyrim team i'm having to sneak past this fort because i fought my way in here so everybody hates me right now <laughs> but look at this we could be in skyrim right i mean actually it is perfect this northern area let me show you the map because the place is massive so we've started here coming from skyrim there's a pub, there's a whole bunch of places that I haven't discovered and been to yet. There's Bruma itself, uh, the stables, and can I recommend for you Waterview? This home by Leanne G, or Leanne H, as she uh, became known and who's sadly since passed. This is a beautiful home, so if you do get this mod, I would totally recommend getting this one, uh, so that you've got a, a mod within a mod. Oh my goodness me, it's fantastic, an absolutely wonderful home, I can't recommend it highly enough. It's got everything you need in this most magnificent location. This whole Bruma mod though, I mean, look at that for a picture. Isn't that stunning? Let me show you a little bit further south. So here we are at Greenwood. I'll show you where this is on the map, where below Waterview. It's Toadstool Hollow, how cute is that? Um, so as you see, the whole place is stunningly beautiful. Oh no. There are new animals, new evil things to fight, beautiful ruins. Oh my goodness, honestly, if you've never played this mod, I don't understand it. <laughs> really, you have to, you've got to try it. It's super beautiful. And uh, yeah, there is so much to do. 
just even if you just wanted to explore, you know, let alone take home these wonderful new plants that you can plant up in, uh, you know, your normal uh, Skyrim world spaces. Oh, you will spend a long time here. Look at that view. Cyrodiil is, um, is fantastic. Oh, that's it. That's as far as you can go on the map. And that's at the moment. Obviously, there's more to come from this team. I'm super excited. I cannot blinking wait. Um, it's a sad thing, isn't it, that we have to wait for these wonderful mods rather than Bethesda getting their flipping finger out and giving us a new score and new Elder Scrolls, that's what they should be doing um, a lot sooner than they've done anything about it so far. Alright, moving on to number two. Okay, number two by Ice Cream Assassin, Legacy of the Dragonborn. Probably a lot of people's favourite mod ever, and I can understand why. Hundreds of hours of extra game time, quests, items to collect, brand new items in the game placed out in the world for you to find. You populate your magnificent museum, uh, you can decorate it for Christmas for heaven's sake, and there are at least three houses that come with this. Uh, this that you're looking at right now is just a picture of the safe house, which is itself absolutely magnificent, truly beautiful. There is, there is so much to do with this, it all feels organic completely integrated into the original game. I don't know how they did it, but or how he did it, but good God, honestly. It, it's worth all of the accolades and praise that have been heaped upon it. So that's just, you know, my personal opinion. Uh, I just find it beyond wonderful. I love it to bits. And were it not for my number one choice, this would have been number one for sure. Uh, but okay, so that's number two. Let's move on to the last mod. Okay, then mod number one is Inigo. Of course it is. Kel surprise. Nobody was surprised about that. I love this mod so much. I forget it's a mod, as was pointed out to me by Mr. Jackson the other day in my Q&A video. Inigo is everything. He is part of my game. I never play without him. I know there are a ton of other mods out there with, you know, Shirley, for example, Lucy and other great mods. I love Inigo so much I named my real life baby after him <laughs> and his brother, Fergus. Uh, so thank you, Smart Blue Cat, from the bottom of my heart for all of your hard work and dedication to this mod that has changed my life and I'm very dramatic when I say that but I do mean it because to me the quest line itself is also great fun if you've not tried it I, I highly recommend that you do um, it, you know you really do get quite a lot to do and there's uh, that opens up other options for your relationship with Inigo he will sing to you which is uh, and he's got quite a, a repertoire of songs um, for me though he's you know he's a person he's a personality he's utterly alive and uh, yeah if smart blue cat can do it then Bethesda yes come on <laughs> take notes this is what we want from our companions, you know? We want to build that. We want that integral relationship where you actually feel that, you know, there's, there is something going on there and it's not just the same old lines, the repetitive, the, you know, you know what I'm saying. We've all, we've all been out with Lydia, let's be honest. So those are my top five. There could be another bunch of mods that I could have mentioned in the same vein, like Falscar, Forgotten City, The Shire, Vigilant, many, many other terrific mods. But these are the ones that really, you know, have got me and got me good. So I hope you've enjoyed my selection. I'd love to know what yours are. I will call it the end here and say take care and stay safe, everybody. I'll see you soon for the next one.